Okay, welcome to my app review. This is uh, the fourth one in the series now. I'm going to be showing you um, some 360 panoramic uh, photography apps that I've come across that have a lot of potential um, for um, interesting graphical imagery, particularly um, for photography students, graphic students, fashion design students, in terms of print placements, etc. Um, but also ones that have potential for actually creating really interesting effects with further experimentation. Now a normal camera you take a picture and you take it directly in front and you're limited to the area. And if you want to take a whole picture around yourself you have to take a series of pictures and put them together. And there are various apps that help do that and you end up with a David Hockney kind of uh, montage. These apps actually try and do that for you, so you end up with one image which is absolutely massive. And I know on some normal cameras you can actually get 180s, um, but on these you can get 360s. Now the first one I'm going to show you is called 360 Pano Camera, which is available from the App Store. I don't know if I paid for it or not, I can't remember. And this is the first one I came across, and to start with I was absolutely fascinated with it. The idea is that you align the the iPad camera into the green frame and you hit the camera button and you, to start and then you move left or right and you match the target together and you work your way around and it automatically adds to the next bit. As you can see there what's happened is the the actual um, the actual picture on the wall has been misaligned on the bottom so this does require a steady hand, good lighting, and you might have to do it a few times. I can't go up and down on this, so I just have to literally go round at that standard height. Um, some of the interesting effects that I've managed to create with this, if I show you here, um, let's have a look, just bear with me. This one here that you're looking at, this is, is my mum and dad's living room, and what you can see there is you can see the fish tank on the left and right and you can see that I've just literally gone all the way round on that standard that standard um, level and it's not too bad you can see on the, the picture with the mirror in the background there that's misaligned the fireplace the television's got something interesting because that's got a bit lower down um, but overall it's quite an interesting um, picture I could have viewed it as like this now it's a shame I can't edit this because it would be nice if the if the actual picture was from the center outwards the other way around. So if you wanted a circular skirt, for example, you could end up having a nice interior design all the way around your skirt, like Mary Captain Zoo does. But this will do it for you. You might be able to manipulate this on on uh, Photoshop, but it might be quite difficult. There might be some apps that do allow you to flick this over so it's reversed, um, but I haven't seen any yet. The second app that I came across was called 360 and what this enables you to do, let's see if we can, uh, here we go, so you end up with this, um, again it's a filter tunnel, you can see the top and the bottom of it, but I haven't got um, a frame in the middle this time, so what it means, I can start say here for example at the bottom, I click start, I press it, and then I move and it puts pieces it together automatically. I'm not aligning anything, but I can actually go upwards as well within that um, cylinder shape. So I can work my way across and down. Okay, it's very... Um, unpredictable how it reacts, um, the lighting conditions play a massive part on it, but it just gives you a bit more scope there for experimentation. The best one that I've come across, which I recommend everybody tries, is Photosynth, which is free on App Store, and this is fantastic. With this one, um, let's start again, so that's the last one here, so you tap to start, and all I'm doing is moving the dot onto the zebra line and if it's yellow it means manual, if it's green it does it automatically and what this means, I can go all the way around but I can also go 
up and over. So if you think about it in theory, what you can create is a 3D panoramic dome around yourself. And a photo, I'll show you one photo that I've created with this. Oh, not this one. Let's have a look. Is this image here? It may look very similar to the other ones, but if this was done on one of those one of the previous apps, you'll get a thin line across the middle. What you've got here, you've actually got um, a higher sky um, recording of the sky and a lower level. So you've actually got quite a large large area here. I suppose if you link them up and put them over, you'd create this dome effect. Um, it's it's really really um, quite interesting actually. And you can actually make it really fun, especially if you start moving an object at the beginning and then move it as you're taking the image. So a person can appear many times within the image. Um, so it's really kind of a matter of experiment. I've got some images where I'm in the start and the beginning and people have wondered how I've done that. Um, but those apps have, um, like I said, a lot of potential for further develop, not just development, but for... Um, experimentation, particularly within the field of design. If I come across any more that have got editing features as well, then I will let you know. But it's worth playing around, with, particularly with that one, and uh, particularly with the one, two, three D catch, which you can see um, down the bottom right here. That one I've done a preview of, and there's a video on the blog about that one. That's um, that photographs objects and then stitches them together to create a three D object that you can then pan around around um, and again that one was free from the app store so give those ones a whirl and if you know of any more please let me know on my blog and I'm happy to try them out thank you